wastewater from the Greater Amman area is collected and pre-treated in the Ain Ghazal pretreatment plant before it is channeled down to the Samra treatment plant in a 1.5 meter diameter pipe. The difference in altitude between the two sites is about 100 meters. This available potential energy is converted into rotational mechanical energy, which is subsequently converted into electric energy. This is done by passing the wastewater through two Pelton turbines at the inlet of the plant. The outlet joins the incoming wastewater from the Zarqa and Hashimiya pumping stations and is distributed into two grit and sulfide removal tanks. Air is introduced at the bottom of the grit chamber, causing heavy particles to settle, which are collected by a screw and then discharged into a grit classifier. Air bubbles cause oil, grease, and scum to float to the surface. This is then collected in a scum pit and pumped to the digesters. The second chamber is for sulfide removal. It consists of two aerated zones in series. Ferric chloride is injected here as a catalyst for the sulfide removal. The effluence from the sulfide removal tanks is then distributed into four primary settling tanks. Each is 67 meters long and 25 meters wide. These tanks remove about 65% of the total suspended solids and 40% of the BOD5. Settled water from the primary settling tanks is distributed into eight biological reactors consisting of three zones. The anoxic zone for exogenous denitrification. The oxic zone where air is introduced continuously through air diffusers to remove BOD5 and initiate nitrification. The endogenous zone where air is introduced intermittently for complete nitrification. The effluent from the activated sludge process is distributed into eight secondary clarifiers, each of a 54 meter diameter. Biosuspended solids are separated and the settled sludge is thickened and returned to the anoxic zone of the aeration tanks. The clarified effluent of the secondary settling tanks flows to two plug flow chlorine contact basins, each of a volume of 3,500 cubic meters. Here, it will be in contact with chlorine for about 35 minutes for its final disinfection, meeting the Jordanian standards. Primary sludge from the primary settling tanks is thickened in three covered circular thickeners, each with a diameter of 23 meters. Biological sludge from the aeration tanks is thickened in another three covered dissolved air flotation units, each of 18 meter diameter. The two types of sludge are then mixed together in a covered tank. The mixture is then pumped to four anaerobic digesters, where it is kept for three weeks at 35 degrees Celsius. During that time, it is mixed thoroughly by the cannon mixers using the recycled compressed biogas. The digested sludge flows to the digested sludge storage tank, where it is pumped to 25 solar evaporation basins. There, it is dried to about 30% dry solids. The biogas produced in the digesters is stored in two gas holders, each with a 5,000 cubic meter capacity. It undergoes hydrogen sulfide removal before being used in five biogas engine generator sets for the production of electricity. Odors from different locations of the plant are extracted, eliminating the emissions of unpleasant smells, providing satisfactory working conditions. The process consists of treating polluted air in a scrubber system containing a special inert medium in which naturally present bacteria are fixed, called biolite. Water is pulverized periodically on top of the medium, absorbing the polluting gases. Finally, the treated air in the lower part of the scrubber is collected and discharged into the atmosphere. This state-of-the-art treatment plant in Samra provides itself 
with 95% of the electricity it uses to treat water for the benefit of all inhabitants of Jordan, as well as its majestic environment. This state-of-the-art water treatment facility at Samara is a monument to the preservation of the Jordanian way of life, as well as Jordan's majestic natural beauty, and may well be the most crucial environmental project undertaken in all of Jordan.